Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I wanted to do a quick everyday slay drugstore tutorial. This is my best friend. Don't mind her. She just, <laughs> she just she came here. She's like, I need to do my lipstick. I need to do this. I need to do that. I just saw my butt. I was like, I was like, girl, you know you can see her, right? Um, so yeah, this is just like my quick everyday get ready with me. Wait, no. This is gonna be my everyday slay makeup tutorial. When I first started filming this, I had the intentions of just doing like a back to school drugstore tutorial, but I included the mask in it and it's just not realistic for school because of the time crunch in it. But this is totally good for school, work, um, if you work at an office. Just a quick little everyday drugstore slay and it won't break the bank. If you guys want to see how I got this look, your phone's in the way. Oh, yeah. it is? I'm sorry. So if you guys want to see how I got this drugstore everyday look, then please keep on watching. I feel like my ears are crooked. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started. So these are the two sheet masks that I pick up from Ulta. These are the new Garnier Skin Active um, Moisture Balm sheet masks. And I got two scents or two like flavors, whatever you want to call it. This is the pomegranate one and this is the aloe, aloe, green tea, green tea and aloe, yes. So I've never tried one with like pomegranate, so let's go ahead and give this one a try. And these are both hydrating masks, so. All right, so I'm pulling out the sheet mask and it looks blue and it has like two sheets on it, which I'm a little confused about, but I guess, let me see what it says. Blue side on top. So I'm gonna go ahead, this is the blue side. Oh, it feels so good. This is like way off right now. Let me get my mirror because it's like crooked. Okay, so you're gonna peel out the blue one after you place it. Did I put this on wrong? You know what, you guys? I did this the wrong way. <laughs> Let me put this one in real quick. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. I, so this is what happens like in real life and no one records it, you know? But, uh, yeah, there we go. This is the right side of it. Why you gotta make it so complicated? Dang, just make a sheet mask. You guys, this is giving me so much life right now. Oh, it feels amazing. This play me, y'all. It's crazy because whenever, I mean, whenever you do pull it out, it looks the same. So, hello. So it says to leave it on for 15 minutes and then peel it off. And there's no need to rinse. So I'm gonna leave this on for 15 minutes and then I'll show you guys my skin and how it looks and how it feels. Okay, mi gente, vamos a sacarlo de la cara. Vamos a ver. Ooh, ah, que rico. So I'm just gonna massage the rest of the little serum all over my face. Wow, my skin feels really, really soft, you guys. Soft, hydrated. I feel like I don't need a primer or nothing, man. I feel ready to go. Okay, you guys, this feels amazing. My skin feels skill. My skin feels really hydrated and moisturized. Look at the radiance just just picking through my pores. You like it? I like it. Okay, moving on to the face. Let's start off with some primer because I'm just gonna include it. This is from a model's own. It's a face based face primer. It's just like a clear bottle. It reminds me of the Smashbox Photo Finish, the same texture, but model's own is actually a new brand that launched at Ulta. I actually do like a mini toot on the gram with this brand, and on the gram with this brand. Um, anyway, so I really do like their products, and they are on the drugstore side because I did pull them. But I was like, oh my god, are they not just though? But they are, so don't worry. They are affordable and really, really good products. Okay, foundation. I'm gonna be using my baby. This is the Milani Perfect Foundation. Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1. You know the deal. Sam Beige is my color. It was my color before it was my color, you know? I was forcing myself to look tan. But I freaking love it. I'm just gonna apply some on my flat foundation brush. Y'all know, this has been my thing. And I'm just gonna start running that all over my skin. This foundation, you guys, is more than perfect. It literally conceals everything. It's so full coverage, and I feel like the longer you wear it, like, it looks better, you know? It's one of those foundations. Am I in the center or not? Y'all see this glow on this forehead, though. Okay, so now I'm gonna be taking a blender. This is from Pure. It's not drugstore, but let's just ignore that. I do need to find like a drugstore blender. Like I used to like their real techniques, but then I started hating it and then I stopped using it. But I'm sure there are really great ones out there. It does suck though that Milani is not an old touch. It's drugstore, like drugstore, drugstore, like Walgreens, CVS. I just feel like it would be more convenient. Well, they do have it at Target though. Come on, I just wish Milani would like 
go places, you know? Because they're such a good brand. I feel like I should be closer to the camp. Why is this booger still here? Foundation is done complete. It's looking right in all the right places. Okay, so to conceal my under eyes, I'm first gonna go with this Peach Corrector by LA Girl Cosmetics and the color Peach Corrector. Ugh. Um, I really have been enjoying this because I do think that I have some darkness underneath my eyeballs and I've never done anything about it. I've always ignored it, but I cannot ignore it anymore. So let's conceal that, okay? I'm just gonna go in again with the same blender and the red or the, the peach cancels out any like darkness under your eyes. Ooh, I feel great. Okay, so now I'm taking my Creamy Beige Concealer also by Ellie Girl Cosmetics. I don't know if Ellie Girl is available like in all Ulta stores yet, but I know that it will be. But if you do not have one close to you, you can get it online and you can use my code it is vale thing. It'll save you 10% off, okay? You guys, these concealers are literally life. Like, these are probably like one of the best concealers in the industry. And they're so affordable. They're like three, four dollars. I believe like all the makeup artists now, like this is all they use. Ooh, girl, look at this. Look at this complexion, girl. Sometimes like when I'm not feeling myself, I have to just like gas myself up, you know? So that way I get motivated to do my makeup. <laughs> all right, moving on, moving on, moving on. Let's go to cream contouring. And I thought I grabbed it, but I did not. So to cream contour, I'll be taking the one and only, the beautiful bronze contour shade by Ellie Girl as well. This is a little bit too dark though, so you gotta be really like handy with it. But it'll cut your cheekbones better than you can cut anything in life. And just draw some lines right here effortlessly. I don't know why I bother. Who cares about my nose contour, right? You get a little short stuff right here, yes. I'm just taking my Duo Fiber Blending by Sigma. And gotta tell you nothing, y'all know this is my favorite brush to cream contour. I also have a code with Sigma, it is Vale, and it'll save you some cash money. But yeah, be really like gentle when applying like this product because if you apply too much, you will look like a hot mess. I'm telling you, this foundation looks right. I'm telling you. <laughs> so to blend out my nose contour, I'll be taking my Morphe M6. This is from the new Morphe Babe collection. I don't know, like these brushes just made me like get super excited about nose contouring because they actually work, you know? It keeps the product right where you place it. So that's why I really, really like them. Y'all don't sleep on me. Y'all watch. I'm gonna be really good at note contour. And then I'm just gonna go back in with some more concealer and make a line really straight. And that's not really straight, but just make a line. And I'm just gonna clean up here just a little bit. Taking this flat definer by Sigma, I'm gonna buff that outward. Screw it, I'm gonna use my finger because uh, I gotta get ready real quick, you know? Now to set and bake the face, I'm gonna be using my model's own loose grand finale loose powder. I really did like this. I haven't picked it up as much, so I don't know. I think I just forget that I have it, but it is a really fine milled powder. And it's drugstore. You guys know how hard it is to find like a good baking powder from the drugstore. So I'm just dipping it in the mirror because I have nowhere else to dip it in. And I'm gonna start pressing that where I want to bake. And also set your eyelids with some kind of powder that way they will not crease, at least they crease on me. So that's a really important step that you cannot miss. So I do have some powder left over, so I'm just gonna be taking my uh, Sigma brush right here. Um, this is the Flat Angle Kabuki F88. Favorite to just press on powders into my face. My mom yells at me when I'm filming. How disrespectful. But she's making me food so I can't be mad. I'm just gonna buff everything away with my Sigma Taper Face F25. Alright, so now I'm gonna cheese on my face and I'm gonna be using this LA Girl Pro Face Powder. I really, I'm sorry, I have like a burn coming out and it's not coming. This powder right here, it's amazing. I love the formula. So if you guys are looking for like a good face powder, Ailey Girl really has some good ones. And I'm just gonna be taking my F40 brush by Sigma, the large and gold. You guys, this is my favorite. And this is the shade True Bronze. And I think I mentioned this, I think I have mentioned this before, but this like color, specifically this color, has like a mustardy bronze color that I absolutely love. But it just brushes me up beautifully. I also feel like it goes really well with this Milani foundation. And then I'm gonna apply some like right in the temples of my 
of my eyeball. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face real quick. I'm gonna be using my Mario Badescu facial spray. This one has aloe cucumber and green tea. It's absolutely one of my favorites and it's super cheap. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows off camera because don't yell at me. I just have not been able to find a good eyebrow product. I know you guys have told me like the ones to get like from NYX and like L'Oreal, I think, but every time I go, they don't have them for me. So like, you know what? Whatever. I'll just I'll just work it out. So I'm gonna do my brows and then I'll be right back. Alright, so now I'm just gonna be taking another LA Girl powder. This is the color buff, and I'm gonna set to my face as well because I do feel like my face is getting a little bit, you know, a little bit oily, but not to worry. We got some powder here, just a little bit though. Alright, so even though that I apply a matte bronzer already, I'm gonna take this one by Models Own. You guys see, it's like reflective. Again, this is like really, really subtle, but I'm telling you, it gives you the prettiest sunkissed glow. So if you're more of the bronzy kind of girl, like, you could totally use this as a blush or just to bronze up your complexion. You guys see, like, how I have all this glow right here? That is all from this bronzer. I absolutely love it. This is Sculpting Glow Shimmer Bronzing Powder in the shade Light Golden Brown. All right, so before we keep going with, like, highlighter and stuff, I'm going to be testing out the new L'Oreal Lash Paradise Voluminous Mascara. I have heard great things about it, and a lot of you guys were asking me to review it, so that's what I'm going to do it today. Ooh, it's a fat one. I like it. This is what the one looks like. It's really nice, fat and plump. Let me... I went ahead and zoomed you guys in a little closer. If you guys prefer this when I do my face, let me know and then I'll do it for the next video. Alright, so, so far I am liking like the brush applicator. I really do like it. I'm gonna add a little bit more because I feel like it's a little bit dry. And let's keep working. It's magic. Alright, so this is only like one coat of mascara and I like it. Um, I don't see it as like the best mascara I've ever tried Simply because I do feel that like I can get this look with like any other mascara that I have especially the L'Oreal Telescopic That one is like one of my favorites for sure, but I'm gonna go ahead and apply a second coat and see how it looks after that Okay, L'Oreal, okay I can totally see why the second coat will make a huge difference like look guys look at my lashes They look really nice Alright guys, so my lash are in its own paradise for sure. Um, I do think that it's like one of the best drugs from mascara that I have tried personally. And for the price, you can't beat it. And the results are here. Look at them. My lashes look amazing. It looks like if I apply like an answer of like Demi Wispies, which is like the more natural lash. So if you guys have been wanting to get this mascara, I totally give you the go ahead and get it because if you wear mascara every single day without lashes, this will be awesome for you. All right, we're almost done with the face. And now for blush, I'm actually gonna be mixing two of my favorites by Milani. This is the color Rose Dioro and Bellissimo Bronze. Rose Dioro is more pink and then Bellissimo Bronze is more of a dark peachy, bronzy color. So I like to mix them both together. I'm taking my F15 by Sigma. I'm gonna place that right on top of my bronzer. And then for highlight, I am actually gonna be using the two from Wet n Wild. I haven't used this in a second, and I really, really do like them. I just don't reach for them as often. So this one is more of a gold one. This is the shade Crown of My Canopy. And then Precious Petals is this one. Yeah, it's more of a pinky one. So, so I think I'm gonna go in with the golden one today because that's just, that's just what I like. So taking my F42 fan brush by Sigma. Alright, so to finish off the face, I'm gonna spray it one more time with my Brown Redescu setting spray. And then for lips, I'm gonna be taking this Mauve Lip Liner by NYX. And I am feeling more of a glossy, refreshed kind of lip today. I don't want anything heavy on my skin, so I am gonna go in with a clear gloss. Unfortunately, I do not have one that's drugstore, but this one is just by Too Faced, but I'm sure the drugstore has plenty of them that you can snag up. But my little trick recently is just like applying lip liner all over my lips and then applying a gloss on top and it looks super pretty. So now you're left with a really refreshed glowy skin, natural eyes, no eyeshadow, no nothing, just mascara and then some lip liner and gloss. I think this is totally doable for an everyday slay kind of makeup. All right guys, so I wanna, that's not how I do it. <laughs> you're making me nervous. Uh, wait, you have a hair. Her nose looks so snatched. Look at that nose. Ooh, look at that highlight, girl. Um, so that is it for this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> you holding my hair. Um, what else did I say? <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. Um, uh, so, uh, please subscribe and follow me on. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. 
and subscribe down to my channel for more videos to come. Let me know that in the comments if you guys would like a video with Dom and what tag we should do. We have like ideas in our head, but we don't know what we want to do yet. Um, all the products that are used in Mesh will be listed down below along with the links and discount codes. Don't forget to follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. That is all by Learn Beauty. That is it for this video. Mucho besito. Y abrazos. And I'll see you guys next time. Come back, come back. I like that. Besito. Y abrazos. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.